Also during this month is the appearance day of Sri Radha Kund on the day of Bahulastami. It was on this day that Krishna, he delivered Aristasura, that powerful Asura who appeared in the form of a bull. Now we have all seen big bulls, but he was like a mountain. The hump on his back, there were clouds hovering around it. And his tail, when he was running into Brajbhumi, it was scattering clouds. And his massive, powerful hooves were causing earthquakes, miscarriages in pregnant women. Everyone was terrified. It was a mountain of a bull, and his eyes were red with rage. And practically hurricane-like hot air was just <laughs> coming out of his nostrils with his head down and these massive pointed horns like thunderbolts aimed right toward Krishna. But Krishna grabbed him by the horns and flipped him over and threw him. Arivo. <laughs> and that made Aristasura more angry. So he charged at Krishna again to destroy him. And Krishna again grabbed him by horns, flipped him over, and with those little lotus feet that Mother Yashoda would be always in anxiety. The Krishna is in the pasture grounds throughout the day, and his feet are so soft, so tender. Just the touch of them, and they turn pink. A little harder touch, they turn red. What if Krishna steps on a stone? What if Gopal steps on a thorn? The gopis were thinking Krishna's feet are so soft, even the softest part of our bodies may hurt him because they are so hard in comparison. But Krishna with that little soft lotus feet that appears in this way to the devotees, kicked Aristasura. <laughs> And he passed stool and urine and vomit, blood and died. Shri Krishna Bhagavan Ki After Krishna killed the demon Arista, he went to meet the gopis near the Govardhan hill. Srimati Radharani and gopis, they said to Krishna, that we can no longer associate with you. Why are you saying like this? Because you have committed the great sin of kin killing a male cow. You are Govinda, Gopal. Gopala means one who protects cows. But you killed cow. The very Bull is the manifestation that represents true religion. Therefore, due to this sin, we will no longer be touched by you. If you want to purify yourself of this sin, go to take bath in all the holy places throughout all the universe. Lord Krishna wanting to please his beloved devotees. He said that there is no reason for me to go anywhere. I will bring all the holy places to Vrindavan. He called all the holy places. Then with his, the heel of his left foot, he made an imprint in the ground. It was a very big imprint. And all these holy places, Gandhis, the Jamuna, the Saraswati, uh, the Naramada, Kaveri, uh, the Bhogavati, all the oceans, the milk oceans, they all came before him. All the holy places, one by one, with folded palms, introduced themselves to Krishna. 
ready to offer any service he desired. Krishna said, you, you filled this footprint of mine with your holy waters. So all at once, they all became manifested as water and filled his kund. Then Krishna took his bath there and came out. He said, now I am completely purified. I have bathed in every holy place with all the universe. But you gopis, you have sided with a demon. Arista Sura was a demon. And because you took his side, therefore you are contaminated by a sin. And if you want to purify yourself from that sin, you should bathe in my kund. The gopis responded that your kund is infected by the sin of killing a cow, so we will not go in your kund. However, because we're associating with you, therefore we have con been contaminated by part of the conspiracy of killing a bull. Therefore, yes, we should bathe. So what Srimati Radharani and gopis did is they found part of the hoof print of Arista Sura. And Sri Radharani took her bangle, and with her bangle, she started digging into that hoof print. Then the other gopis all started breaking their bracelets, and they dug a big, big, beautiful kun hole in the ground. Krishna said, now you have hole, but you have no water. If you say so, I will tell my waters to fill your kund. They said, no, no, we don't want your waters. So they made a line of gopis, hundreds and thousands of gopis, in a line that went all the way to Manasaganga, and they were passing buckets of water from there to fill up the kund of Sri Radharani. Krishna, unable to tolerate seeing the gopis working in this way, he requested the holy places to approach Sri Radharani. So all the holy places personified in one form. He came before Srimati Radharani with folded palms, offering beautiful prayers to her lotus feet, that you are the supreme most worshipable of all personalities. Lord Hari is always subordinate to your love. Brahma, Shiva, Sukadev, all the, Brahma, Shiva, and all the great gods, they are eager to become the servant of the servant of your servants. We beg you to please be kind upon us and grant us the benediction that we may serve you. She said, what benediction do you desire? They said, please allow us to fill your kund with our waters. So she said, yes, if that is your desire. The water from Shamakund then crashed through the boundaries and entered into Sri Radha Kund. After this beautiful episode, Krishna told Srimati Radharani that your kunda, Radha Kund, is filled with the ambrosial nectar of your love. Therefore, Radha Kund is as dear to me as you. And anyone who takes their bath in Sri Radha Kund will attain that same type of love and devotional service that you have for me. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he recited that wonderful verse that Radha Kund is as dear to Krishna as Srimati Radharani because it is so very dear to her.
And anyone who bathes in Radha Kund is bathing in the love of Sri Radha Rani and will in due course of time attain the perfection of life. So the advent of Sri Radha Kund is part of the month of Kartik. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.